we are looking at uh, let us see c programming this is the case control structure chapter number 4 so in various situation uh, we encounter while in programming in real life that we have various options various options or various ways for single decision means there can be various alternative for a single input so what we can have we have already seen that we can have multiple if statements then rather than using this uh, if statement multiple if statement we have something called as switch and case so the decision using switch the, this is a control statement now this allows us to make decision from the number of choices we have a number of choices which are given inside this switch so we can just call this switch as case because the number of choices which are possible in switch they are called as cases so we'll call them as switch case construct or switch case default all these keywords they go together in order to make this switch case control statement the syntax is like this we write switch here this inside the parenthesis is our integer expression this is the integer expression so this is matched with these cases these are case 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 and they are you know followed by the number or the value which is to be equated or checked with this integer expression this integer expression and if this matches we perform this activity if if this integer expression it uh, matches the constant to this one then see this is constant this has to be constant always then constant 3 if it matches constant 3 this will be done so depending upon which which is the match the case corresponding case will be executed if these cases does not match then we go to default this default is optional even if you don't write there will be no problem but here we see the case you know inside this switch you can ho only have integer values only integer values so the case cases are matched one by one but here if you see properly if this is int i equal to 2 this is a value and as i said in this switch in the parenthesis we can give only integer integer expression or integer constant so if we give 2 then this 2 1 2 will go here this is 2 2 will match with this 1 because it is not matching it will go to 2 it is matching so it should print this line i am in case 2 but if we see the result we will find out i am in case 2 i am in case 3 i am in default all these three lines will be printed so we just want this line to be printed because this case 2 this 2 is matching with the input value for that what is the possibility if you want to just come out of this loop when this case is actually matching this switch inside then we have to use a break so what we will do we will use a break in order to come out of the innermost loop this is how the program will be with using break we want just this line to be printed others not to be printed so this is the same program with break inside it so i equal to 2 not 2 will come 2 will match with first case as the case is not match matching this 2 is not equal to 1 2 is not equal to 1 we can say like this then we say that this case will not work then we go to case 2 since this 2 matches with this 2 this line will be printed and then we will not go to case 3 because we have a break we come out of the loop this is how it is done if at all this i, wo I was 3 this 3 will be matched with 1 2 it will not match it will come to 3 and then this will be printed only and after this we have a break so we will come out so corresponding case which matches with the switch entry will only be printed the operation of switch is something like this you start this is these are number of cases if the case match then the uh, statements you don't need to put any braces you can write any number of statements after the case so this these statement or you can say statements will be executed otherwise we go to case 2 case 3 case 4 and if it is not there we go to default there is no necessity to write default so this goes like this we have switch and this is the choice this choice should be matched with 1 2 3 4 which which it, it matches if it matches any of these this statement corresponding to that case will be executed and we you come out of the switch case so there are tips and traps when we are dealing with switch case construct 
first of all we have seen that uh, in the program we have done, done up till now the numbers or the cases were 1 2 3 like this so there is a proper order but this is not required this is not essential means you can have the scrambled order for example you can have case 121 first then 7 then 22 so there is no particular order no ascending no descending so you can just 22 put here and check for 121 then 7 then 22 so this will be matched and this line will be printed so this can be scrambled there is no order which needs to be followed then you can also have a care value character value you know in by by virtue of character being the ascii representation of the value which is understood by the computer the character is essentially treated treated as integer only so we have this these this value there is a there is a restriction that this value can only be integer expression now this is an integer expression when you are putting single quotes for x this x will give you output as the ascii value now this ascii value is compared with the ascii value of v ascii value of a ascii value of x and since this x matches with this x this line will be printed i am in case x so this will be the result and what this a and capital a you want user to input a b c and you are trying to make your program as case insensitive so even if user enter small a or capital a how to provide the case bo cases both cases uh, eligible to show this print this print line for that you can do like this case a no break here and case capital a for both of these cases this line will be printed for both of these case this line will be printed this you can do right for these both even if the user uh, places small c or capital c there will be this line will be executed right and you can have multiple statement in case there is you don't have to put them in braces right so every statement in switch must belong to some case if some some line is there in switch case which is not belonging to any case the compile compiler will not report any error the compiler will just ignore it i'll show you what is happening here see we have a printf we are taking i we are matching i with number of cases say 1 and 2 but we have a line here also in switch compiler will not report any error no error but this line will never be executed there will be no hello because switch and case construct means you need to check this this so there will be a jump there will be a jump table so this goes to this jump table so a table table matching will be there so this line will never be executed or in fact compiler will ignore this line if you have no default cases no problem default cases is just because all the cases above if they are not matching then you go to default cases then inside this case you cannot have any relational activity you can just have a constant value so this is not not allowed this is not allowed apart from this there is one more restriction that you can only have integer or character constant inside your switch float is not allowed float is not allowed though advantage which switch gives you is that it is very clean very clean if you have multiple ifs and this same program of switch can be written in terms of if and else this is well to be understood because if and else and switch are exactly same the only thing is that switch is a sophisticated way to represent multiple if and else you cannot you cannot uh, put any relation in the case but you can you can have this kind of expression in switch this is perfectly legal in switch you can have it right but in case you can have only constant value you cannot have case a plus b these are variables you don't know the value of a and b you can have constant value inside the break statement this is just to take you out from the the inner switch right that is you cannot use continue because break is the obvious choice because if the condition is met you need to come out and that is only possible when when you are using the break break then in this uh, switch you know inside switch we can have various switch means nesting is possible but rarely we do this whenever we are dealing with menu driven program menu driven program 
switch is the best choice so when whenever you want to write some menu driven program please go to switch switch versus if else ladder as i said switch and if else ladder they are exactly same there are minor differences switch is a sophisticated form a more you can say you know artistic form of writing if else so there are some things that you simply cannot do with switch means a float expression cannot be uh, tested in a switch you can have you cannot have any variable inside your case okay so multiple multiple cases cannot use same expression see this is 3 and this is 1 plus 2 is also 3 this is not allowed you can have you cannot have, have multiple these values multiple equal values in a case so if else and switch the most important thing is switch is very clean and switch is faster than if else how because when we are dealing with switch the the program actually makes a jump table so it simply takes the value inside the switch and it just matches from that table the case content so it is pretty fast so if we have multiple cases in switch it is very fast than if else but if you have just two cases or one case in inside your switch if else will always be fast because making of a jump table making of a jump table will take more time than doing the if else i hope you got the idea if you have multiple switch case the best is to switch case but if you have just two or three switch cases don't use switch case go to if else okay the go to keyword this go to keyword takes your control to any part of the program in misra c misra c++ or there are various other you know various different uh, programming practices or programming rules they say don't use go to we have seen catastrophic uh, you know disaster we have seen some disaster which actually when we when because of software and when the the program was seen there was go to so that is why the motor in misra motor industry standard or reliability assessment and all those you know there are so many they all say don't use go uh, go to keyword so just avoid go to keyword because you know they will make your life uh, little miserable right there is one one chance or there are few chances i'll tell you where you have to go use go to but you know go you if you use go to your program will become unreliable unreadable and very difficult to debug right but uh, you know always go to is seductive so various program where pro programmers go for go to right so go to uh, takes you to any part of the program but in in fact you can write the same program with if for while and switch this is more elegant way and the problem again some problem which we just uh, indicated the big problem with go to is you don't know where your your flow of control has gone you can skip a part that means that that part or that portion will be unreachable code you can go anywhere and these if you have multiple go go tos then it will be very difficult to handle your program so i'll give you an example this is simple example that you are having some goals you want how many goals are scored by india you take it in goals and if goals is less than 5 then you go to sos this sos followed by a colon is the flow of control it will take you to the control this will never be executed if the goals remain less than equal to 5 if it is the greater than 5 then you, you go here i hope you got the idea so this is the output this seems very good here that your control is being transferred but when you have a large program then go to creates problem go to does not create a problem basically it basically the control flow of control creates the problem so if the condition is satisfied the go to statement transfer control to this sos which you have seen that that will be printed and this label can be on a separate line or on the same line as the statement yeah, like this you can have a line here after sos colon you can have in it in separate line also and you can have any number multiple number of go to's in your program this exit function as we you just saw is the standard library function as you just saw okay now here is one one situation where uh, go to can be used when you have multiple multiple or various numbers of nesting of loops see this is for inside you have a for inside you have a for and then inside you have if else now when you want to come out of this loop what you can do you can use break but that will take you only out of this loop that is the innermost loop 
still you will be inside these loop you want to come out of the innermost loop inside nested nested uh, you know construct for that you can use go to so if some certain situation is not met you can just come out of the whole whole scenario whole nesting this is you will come out and you will print out of the loop at last i hope you got the idea so what, let us summarize what we have seen uh, when we need to choose one among number of alternatives we use switch the switch keyword or it is only followed by integer or an integer expression that would evaluate to integer that is why we can use the character also because in, in internally they are treated as ascii values the case keyword is followed by an integer or a character constant the control falls through all the cases unless the break is encountered the usage of go to keyword should be avoided usually you know because it violates the normal flow of execution so this is all about this chapter thank you so much take care of yourself